advertising really works, especially if you can create an image that people associate with the product. There are some classic ones. Tony the Tiger, you immediately think of Frosted Flakes, Speedy with his bobbing head, Alka-Seltzer. But if you can get them to team up with real life celebrities, that's even better. Michael Phelps and Ken Griffey Jr. teamed up with Tony the Tiger to push Frosted Flakes. Sammy Davis Jr. partnered with Speedy and everyone associated him with, with uh, this product. But the most successful celebrity campaign, I think in history, has been the Got Milk campaign. And you remember that all kinds of celebrities drank milk, Whoopi Goldberg, for example, and then loads of them, even Dr. Phil and, and uh, uh, movie stars, actors of all kinds, drank milk and got the milk mustache. And that was a great campaign for, uh, for milk. And uh, if you are talking about uh, coffee, well, these days, these little capsules are very popular. Why? Because George Clooney and Danny DeVito push Nespresso. Now, for me, I don't look for celebrities. That's not why I buy products. I look at the evidence. Frosted Flakes, too much sugar. Alka-Seltzer, yeah, if you've got an upset tummy, works well. Milk, well, it's neither the toxin that some people say, neither is it nature's perfect food. If you like it, drink it. And uh, espresso, well, never mind that George Clooney pushes it. My evidence, it tastes pretty good. But why do we trust these celebrities? Because somehow we think that they know more than we know. They have some inside knowledge and that their fame and fortune is somehow a result of this knowledge. Well, I think we should stick to the evidence, not what celebrities say. And uh, well, you know what? You really can't trust anything that a celebrity says.